Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for the third and the last video of our trilogy about the future vertical lift program of the United States. In the past two videos we introduced the SB1 Defiant and the V280 Valor as a future replacement for the UH60 Black Hawk adopted in this moment. But today we will do something a little bit different and compare these two helicopters with each other. While if you want to know how these two helicopters compare to the previous Black Hawk, you can find the individual videos clicking in the right up corner or the description of this video. But now let's start analyzing these two machines together. The first thing we have to notice is the crew. Both of them have a crew of four with two pilots and two chief or gunners. The SB1 first flight was in 2019 while for the V280 Valor in 2017, so just a little bit earlier. While for the manufacturer we can find the Sikorsky Aircraft and Boeing for the SB1 and Bell and Lockheed Martin for the V280. Now we can analyze the dimensions of these two machines. For the Defiant we have a length of 16 meters, while for the Valor a length of 15.4 meters. So here the length is almost the same. But we can notice something very different if we check the width. 2.5 meters for the Defiant and 25 meters for the Valor. Of course because of the wings. But what it does mean? Are the dimensions really so important? Uh, well, actually yes. The first reason is the space occupied on aircraft carriers or other kind of ships. You know, these kind of helicopters are often adopted also on ships. So you need to occupy less space as possible to increase the number of machines you can transport. Probably you already know there are versions of the Black Hawk, called the Sea Hawk, that can fold the tail and the rotor blades just to occupy less space as possible. The Defiant can do it as well, can fold the rotor blades to reduce the space needed. And what about the Valor? It can fold the blades as well, but the wings of course cannot be closed. So the total width is still much higher compared to the Defiant. So I think this is an important point to take into consideration when you compare these two machines. But let's continue. What about the rotors? For the Defiant we have a coaxial dual blade rotor plus a pusher prop on the rear. This rotor has a diameter of 15 meters with 4 blades for each rotor. While for the Valor we have dual tilt rotors on the side of the wings and each rotor has a diameter of 10.7 meters with 3 blades. Keep talking about the overall dimensions and fuselage we can notice that both the machines have retractable landing gears. This is very important to increase the maximum speed and overall performance when in flight. And because we have just mentioned the performance, let's analyze them. We can start from the maximum and the cruise speed. The Defiant has a maximum speed of 470 km per hour with a cruise speed of 460 km per hour. It's really fast. What about the Valor? We have a maximum speed of 570 km per hour and a cruise speed of 520 km per hour. So in terms of speed, the Valor is much better. It's really on a different level here and more similar to an aircraft than an helicopter in terms of speed performance. What about the range? For the Defiant we have a range of 450 km, while for the Valor also here we have an improvement 1480 km, much more also in this case. Service sailing. For the Defiant we have 4600, while for the Valor 7600. Also here the Valor is the winner. But keep in mind that while hovering the service sailing is reduced to 1800 meters. And with hovering we mean when the Valor is in helicopter state, because this machine can tilt the dual rotors on the side of the wings and change the position from horizontal in aircraft position to vertical in helicopter position. But let's continue. Climb rate 8.1 meter per second for the Defiant and 8.2 meters per second for the Valor. Here is almost the same. Power plant. We have two turbo shafts with a total power of 7000 kilowatts for the Defiant and two turbo shafts with a total power of 7080 kilowatts for the Valor. Also here we may notice they are almost the same. What about the weight? The Defiant has a weight of 5000 kilograms while the Valor has a weight of 15000 kilograms, so three times more when empty and 26 6,000 kg at the maximum, so the Valor is much heavier. Also this point can be interesting when you think about transport this kind of machine on an aircraft carrier or another kind of ship, so it may be an important factor to decide who is the best one. 
At the end we can check the passengers, we have up to 12 troops full equipped for the Defiant and 14 troops for the Valor, so the Valor has a little bit more space inside, that is quite useful for this kind of machine. While we don't have information about the lift capacity of the Defiant, it should be similar to the Blackhawk one, so around 4000 kilograms, but I can't be sure, so don't keep this information too seriously. While we know the lift capacity of the Valor is 4500 kilograms, that is very important and I'm almost sure in any case will be higher than the Fiant. Ok, now we have analyzed almost all the specifications possible for these two machines. Of course, both of them are still in development, the information can be uh, changed in the future because they can upgrade something or change something else. Remember that this uh, future vertical lift program is happening now, in this moment, so they are still not finished yet. And the things can be different and we may have more information later, so maybe in a future I'll update this list with more information when we have them of course. But for what we have now, what do you think about these two competitors? Both of them are uh, meant to replace the Black Hawk as main utility helicopter of the United States. But they are really different, so if you have to choose only one, which one will you choose? For me it's not really easy to choose one because both of them have pros and cons and I think each one can afford better a specific role. If possible, I would choose both of them. Now, for this kind of programs, usually the budget is not unlimited. So, at the end, they choose only one machine. But never say never, there is still the chance that they can choose both of them and they both became operative and are into service. But if they have to choose only one, which one would be your choice? I am really curious to know also your opinion and why. If I have to choose only one, for me would be probably the Valor. I always love the tilt rotor aircraft like the V-22, even if the V-22 is a bit different. If you want, we can speak more about the difference between the Valor and the Osprey in a separate video. But I always loved this kind of machine and I don't know, I think it may be the future of the helicopters. Overall is a better decision because you still have an helicopter in terms of uh, hovering, takeoff, landing, but at the same time you also have an aircraft because if you, we check the maximum speed, the cruise speed, the range, they are more similar to aircraft. And also for today that's all, I hope you enjoyed this video, if yes remember to leave a thumbs up. Check also the other two previous videos where we have seen specifically Hatch helicopter compared to the Black Hawk, the most adopted utility helicopter of the United States. And let me know if you want other videos like this one because I really love to compare two machines with each other. I also love top 10s where you compare many more of them but when we can speak about only one or two machines I think I can add uh, more information and still keep the video around 10 minutes if possible. Because you know me, I don't love to make videos too long. As always I remind you that if you like this kind of machines and love Lego as well you can find the military projects made with Lego by me uh, clicking in the right corner or checking in the description of the video that you can see now so if you want to check also this one and see you again in the next video. Bye!